So right now we're going to perform a sample inspection to demonstrate how the RSWA is used. We have our sample part here with 10 welds on it. We're going to enter Array Explorer. Log in as Matt. Perform a new inspection on our part. This is part 2B. We'll enter a unit number of 123 as an example. Now we've already pre-programmed all of our part information on here with plate thicknesses and minimum diameters. So you can see that right here we have our plate thicknesses, one millimeter by one millimeter our minimum nugget size of three millimeters and we have our image of our part up here apply some gel to each weld First we're going to perform our setup to set our gates. As you can see we have our gate set here at the bottom in the green. And then we'll take a measurement of our first weld. So the RSWA is giving us a few things here. First it's giving us our diameter of our weld of 5.1 millimeters. It's giving us our indentation of 0.15 millimeters. It's giving us our front plate thickness of one millimeter, our total stack thickness of two millimeters, and it's giving us 52 different A scan readings at the bottom. So this is a good weld. We can pass it and move on to the next weld. So here we have an undersized weld, 2.8 millimeters. So we're going to fail it. And when you fail a weld, you can choose Y. And we're going to choose RSWA undersized. Here's another good weld. You can see this rotating white circle. The inner part of this is our weld nugget minimum. So the inspector can clearly see that this weld is bigger than the three millimeter minimum. The inspector has no problem seeing that. It's very visible to them. We'll pass it on to weld number four. If for whatever reason the inspector thinks the RSWA is giving a reading that's too high or too low, they can simply click this feature, this hand feature, and manually resize the size of the weld to what they feel is appropriate. So for this particular weld, I'm going to call it five millimeters. pass it. So here's an example of a cold weld. The RSWA is giving a reading of absolutely no fusion. So we can fail it. No fusion. Another good weld. Another cold weld. And 
once we're done inspecting all of our welds, we simply end the inspection and save it.